Okay. More runs, boys. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange <laughs> and mysterious things would soon be happening. Or, or just start running a 106%. As Try to beat London that category. Slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant... With forbidden memories. <laughs> left a blanket wrap bundle on the doorstep of number four. Yeah, dude. Do drive. that. Or like... Nestled in the bundle... Join the um their weekly Sunday races of the, uh, Forbidden Memories. The boy who lived. Just like join some boom in those guys. Years, Harry lived with his dreadful step parents, the Dursleys. Until I'm probably not going to run 106. When he received the letter inviting I'm quite content with any percent. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagonally to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. While at Gringotts Wizard Bank, Hagrid collected a scruffy package from Vault 713, mentioning to Harry that the package, whatever it was, would be safer at Hogwarts. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Dumbledore stood up. Yes, time, but we actually skip it, Milky. We actually uh, who does not wish to do some cool thing to not have to thing. fight Malfoy. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. I, I like, I like your thinking, Mary. I like your thinking. Said the hat in his ear. You could be great. Yeah, like it's we um and we first fight peeves, right? But we actually use peeves to skip no. every other dialogue after that. Sure. Until Better we be. leave the castle. Nah, you didn't miss PB, Perry. I didn't get a PB. I just completed a run. It was like a no reset. It was a bad run. I mean it ended up okay. One one sixteen's alright. But I had to play well to make it an okay run. Like, the beginning was trash. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry. Thanks, so Barry. search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Only this morning... I took a wrong turn and stumbled upon a room full of chocolate frogs. But alas, when I returned, they'd been replaced by a, a nasty <laughs> we did it. fire crabs. <laughs> now, hey. up the stairs and off to your lessons. Don't be late. I know that, that probably sounds like flat, but trust me. It, it, it wasn't. Hey, Harry. You remember me? Ron Weasley? Brothers, Fred and George, have something to show you. Follow me. Dude, Mary just speaks things into existence. Follow me, Harry. That's what Mary does. Hello, Harry. We can show you how to get around Hogwarts. As a first year, you have a lot to learn. Follow us for a secret lesson. Yeah, I, I think I just dropped, but. Against the dark arts class. Good luck, Harry. You know, we 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 got there. <laughs> We're going to teach you how to climb. Run to the bookcase and don't stop. You'll climb up. Above the bookcase is a Bertie Botts every flavor bean. Collect all the beans you can find and meet us in the next room. <gasps> Done. Now, let's try jumping. Run to the ledge, then press the jump button to jump across. If you fall down, you can climb back up and start over. Meet us in the next room. We'll take the shortcut and meet you there. Whoa, potty, 
That's Peeves, the poltergeist. He's always causing trouble. Peeves doesn't like friendships. So what's yeah, this? exactly, Milky. I agree. Just so good. And like Fred and George controlled the con the economy, so they're basically ruling Hogwarts to an extent. Whoa, how did I miss his head? How did I miss his head? What? Thanks, Harry. Thank you. We need the beans for some <clears throat> experiments. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. All right, I was still better than not getting Jamie at all, but damn. I'm Draco Malfoy. How did that you happen? Do well to show me respect. These are my fellow Slytherins, Crab and Goyle. Naturally, we Slytherins are going to win the House Cup and the Quidditch Cup. You better stay out of our way, Potter. Let's go, boys. Yeah. All the cut. If it's not a slideshow, then the cutscenes are rendered in game. Yeah. I am P Professor Quirrell. T today we'll learn how to p protect ourselves against the dark magic with the Flipendo spell. Watch my wand. It's pretty good. Hold down the mouse button and repeat the button. Release the button when you're done. Flipendo! That was. On, Mr. Potter. Yes. Yeah. It's called uh, what I did there in front of George Milky is called the Jammy. So what I did was trigger the cutscene, and by grabbing, by, by like doing an action during the cutscene, like grabbing a ledge or getting hit, um, allows you to move during the cutscene. So. That's what I did. Normally, like, you're stuck there until they present to you the wizard card you, that you earned. So it saves, like, 10 seconds. Hold down the mouse button to aim the flipendo spell. Actually, no, it saves, like, 15. If you do it, like, correctly. Try it on that barrel. <laughs> Dude, I'll like get a 4.0. Oh my god, I'm getting all the super jumps. Cast your flipendo spell at the switch on the wall to open the door. Flipendo affects all sorts of things, such as this cauldron. Knock it over, Mr. P Potter. to hear that. No, you know what? It's alright, it's fine. You're, you're gonna bounce Hello, back. Hello, Harry Potter. I am nearly headless Nick, the Gryffindor house ghost. It's not even gonna matter. Now, this is a save game book. When you touch it, your game will also Yo, how's it going, Luna? The game will restart from this point. Cinnacin. You, you can also load a saved game from the main menu. How you doing today? Goodbye. Flipendo. Flipendo. A 
cast your flipendo spell on this block to knock it I'm doing good. away. Flipendo! Doing good. Flipendo! Oh, come on. Why can't I let you go? What's that? Like, I literally woke up, ate breakfast, and started stream. You know, it's the life of the grind. I'm lucky I got that second jump. I thought I was gonna fail it. TBH. Chicken nuggets. I don't know why, but I've been eating more chicken nuggets lately. Like, I've been to McDonald's like a couple times the past week. First, for like a an evening snack. So to speak. This is a no. It's like not good. Potter. They like to pester young wizards, knock him on his backside to complete the challenge. Hi, cat. They move quickly and can How are you? Quite a nuisance. <laughs> mm. okay. It's fine. They can take my beans. I have no use for them. Congratulations, Mr. P Potter. You completed the challenge. You c collected the required number of challenge stars. Five points for G Gryffindor. At least now this game doesn't have auto jump. Practice before before I know the PS1 version does, and I was like, why? Gryffindor why is that a thing? Harry, Ron, and Hermione talked about their exciting first days at Hogwarts. There was much talk about the break in at Gringotts Wizard Bank. But there was little time to dwell on this, since Harry and his friends were expected at their flying lesson with Madame Hooch. I am your instructor, Madame Hooch. For your first lesson, you will fly through these magic rings. Control your broom with the direction keys. The speed up and slow down keys adjust your flight speed. Ready, Potter? On my whistle. <laughs> really, Mary? <laughs> oh, rip. Well done, Mr. Potter. Now let's see how you do with smaller ones. But, like, I wouldn't expect a tranquil atmosphere at a Mickey D's. Ever. Unless it's, like... Late night. These rings should challenge you. Okay, I got lucky there. Okay. 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 Usually, like, when I turn that corner, I had to stop up and just make sure I'm on the right line. That was good. Time for your charms lesson now. Yeah, I'm I'm using inverted controls. <laughs> I could not do broomstick without inverted control for the life of me. Just couldn't do it. You're early for the lesson, Harry, but I'll teach you a new spell I've learned on my own. The spell I learned is Alahamora. 
It will open magically lock the like dance game I mean. every con console game does that <laughs> this is the symbol for Alahamora. literally stop, everyone hold down the mouth button and make the same pattern then let go of the button please some that's 50 okay I know you could do even better. Great, Harry. I'm sure Professor Flitwick would give you five house points for that charm. You're getting the hang of this. What was that? Every time, dude. Hermione just becomes a prefect in year one. Mora. We still have a few minutes before the charms lesson. You know? That door in front of you is magically locked. Cast Alhamora to open it. Alhamora! You've got it. Now, can you find the two secrets in this room? Alhamora! If you're done admiring yourself, Harry, take a look at that magical chest. Cast Alhamora to unlock it. Am I gonna ever get the super jump ever again? Am I, or am I, I'm just gonna continue to lose 30 seconds on this, but what's it gonna be? Welcome, young wizards. I am Professor Flitwick, and today you will learn the levitation spell Wingardium Leviosa. Observe the correct Wingardium Leviosa symbol. When I stop, hold down the mouse button and follow the pattern. <laughs> she's she's on a point quota. Must give out 25 points a day. You've earned too much for your house. Good work, Mr. Potter, but you still have room to improve. Five points for Gryffindor. Try going slightly faster this time. An irregular version of the spell won't work, Mr. Potter. You may now enter the Wingardium Leviosa challenge to practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. Potter. <laughs> Cast Wingardium Leviosa on that statue, then move it onto that large plate. Wingardium Leviosa! Well done! Now go and collect the challenge stars. I'll meet you at the end. Good luck, I think it Mr. looked Potter. like he just slipped off the platform. Uh, that's how I saw it. His, anim his walking animation. Pretty funny. No, I thought that was a, that was a secret recipe. <laughs> Thank you. Just when you think you found out how to do it. No. In case I wasn't losing enough time already. Yeah, the way those block clips work is, are really weird. Like, if you clip the block on one side, you actually can't do it on the other side. So you have to choose one. It's really weird. You can't clip for both blocks. At least that's what I've been told. I actually haven't tried to clip the block on the other side first.
How did that work? I was shaking my head. Okay, guess it works. Why did I jump though? Well, well, Potter. We meet again. Having a tour of the. So yeah, that's us skipping Malfoy. Hurry, Milky. Over here. Hello, Harry. It's me, Hagrid. Also Good nice to music. See These are the Hogwarts Castle grounds, and I'm the gamekeeper, of course. Can't believe how quick. Yeah, yeah. If you look in a mirror, it surely will crack. Your friend Hermione's at the entrance <laughs> of the house waiting for you. Drop round for tea later after your lessons are done. Potter, you ugly, but what can we do? Everyone says you belong in a zoo. Professor Sprout's garden. I'll wait here for Neville. I think you've got lost again. Go on, Harry. You better get to the lesson. All right, standard, standard entry into Incendio. Welcome, class. I am Professor Sprout. Today we'll learn the Incendio spell, which is useful against all manner of dangerous plants. Observe the correct Incendio symbol. Hold down the mouse button and follow the pattern. Then release the button. Seventy-two. Good work, Mr. Potter. You have great potential. Feels good when I always hit seventy-two. Five points for Gryffindor. Try to go a little bit quicker this time. Because apparently we only get to use it on plants. An interesting variation on Incendio, but unfortunately it's wrong. Now it's time for the Incendio Challenge. Through the doors, Mr. Potter. I'll watch you from the balcony. Yeah, California needs uh, some Incendio right now. Bushes. You may cast sure. Incendio on them, but step back to avoid their needles. Still smoky. This is a typical species of venomous tentacular. Cast incendio. No way, I'm right there. Dude, I'm right there. Away you go. It sure worked. Oh my god. What was that? Animation. The venomous tentacular is supposed to like hit you during the cutscene so you can walk. Almost got hit. Incendio! 
Nintendo. Yeah, they can have my heckin' beans. Hopefully they, they, they give him to Fred and George instead of me. I was going Captain Ethanol, by the way. Huh? Grab ledge! What the heck? <laughs> How did that not work? I'm doing good. I wish. I need to be saving time on the split. It's imperative. Not of this again. Wow, I keep missing that. Why? It's supposed to be a free jump. Here comes Neville. He looks quite upset. Best go and see what he wants. Please help me. So Longbottom has gone sniveling to you, and you want me to give you his precious remembral. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to collect. How about up a tree? <laughs> Think you can catch me? Come on then, Potter. Give me back Neville's Rememberall, Malfoy. You want the Rememberall back? See if you can catch it. And you better watch out for my bludgers. <laughs> my broomstick, Potter! You'll pay for this! Here, take this stupid thing. I've no use for it. You've got my remember all back. Thanks, Harry. I'll be able to find my toad now. You'll pay for this. Come here, Trevor. Come back. Just kidding, I can't sue you. I remember now. I left Trevor near the herbology class. There are plants there that eat toads! Mr. Potter, I am Professor McGonagall, Deputy Headmistress of Hogwarts and Head of Gryffindor House. Although I do not approve of your chasing Malfoy about, I'll admit you have remarkable talent on a broomstick. Ordinarily, first-year students may not compete in Quidditch. In your case, we might overlook that rule. Harry, Gryffindor's first Quidditch match of the year is later this afternoon against the formidable Slytherin team. See you then. Over here. Should I save more time than that? Come along then. I've something to show you now. 
By the way, congratulations on making the Quidditch team. Word travels fast round Hogwarts. Welcome to my home, Harry. It's small, but still roomier than your cupboard under the stairs, eh? Now I can show you what I wanted to talk to you about. It's a dragon's egg, Harry. But it's our secret, mind you. The egg is at a very delicate stage. I can't leave it here alone, but I need some fire seeds to give it that last burst of heat to make it hatch. Harry, can you fetch me some fire seeds? I grow them in caves out in the garden. <laughs> Correct. You didn't say anything about about as many fire seeds as you can find. Cap. Careful though, they're spitting fire and the seeds are hot. Let them cool down before you pick them up. Off you go then. All right, what are we talking about? Great work, Harry. You've collected all the fire seeds I need. Come on inside, Harry. Wipe your feet now. Wipe your feet now. <laughs> Let's get some more Starburst minis. Is my slots command still broken? Well, let's find out. Oh, it's back. On the perfect line. So we do. I think you will forever hate Cinnabot fruit. <laughs> Even if you get the jackpot, I don't, I don't think you'd be happy with Cinnabot. Oh, okay, okay, two out of three, two out of three. Not too shabby. I, there is a uh, stream of us has like a a super emote feature where if you get the super emote you get some points Go ahead and but I think it's because I think it's if you get the jackpot of the super emote so like I can make it so a regular jackpot is like a 500 XP but if you get the huge base jackpot that's like 1500 so that could work like that. Norbert. He's a Norwegian ridge bat, you know. Up you come, my beauty. Thanks, Harry. Here, take this flute. It can be used to help some creatures sleep. You'd best get ready for Quidditch now. Should we? I like how my bite is still sub. a tough team, but you'll show them, eh? Oh wait, did I? We better give Norbert his first. Oh, is that because I didn't soon? turn off our room? I should probably turn off auto renew. Welcome to Quidditch! Hmm. I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! It's Gryffindor versus Slytherin. I mean, if my bot still had the sub, like, if I could just add the sub emotes to my jackpot slots. Charm balls that can knock you off your broomstick. Two beaters of each team to keep them away. <laughs> 
<laughs> Harry just flapping his arms, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't see Katie in the top five anymore. Rest in peace. She was number one. Chances? I think there's like... 40 emotes. <laughs> so... Good luck getting a jackpot. Really? Yeah, you were number one, and then Amni with the big gamble so went straight up to number one. And then Beater, who was here for like the whole entire month of October. Got up to number one. And then Katie worked her way up to number one. And now it's back to Beater. I believe that's how the chronology goes. Harry Potter, the youngest seeker in the history of Hogwarts, Rip Milky. won the Quidditch match. Congratulations again for winning the Quidditch match against Slytherin. You are fantastic. Something is troubling me, Harry. Ron and I heard strange noises outside the Forbidden Corridor. Come up to the third floor and have a look. Oh, I see fruit. No worries, man. Hopefully, your November has been less rough then. And Mary with the two friendly friends again. Oof. That's a big oof. Alright, ready, 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 ready. Please stop that. <laughs> oh, well. what's up, sneaky? Finally, I get that first try. You may begin the Loomis challenge to practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. Pop yeah, also I like the uh, music for Goyle. It's pretty good. I like it. It's probably my favorite. Down song in the soundtrack button to aim the spell to cast lumos let go of the button you may practice on that g g gargoyle lumos. that's quite <laughs> bright isn't it now you can cross the chasm and collect your challenge stars i'll, I'll meet you at, you at the, the end, end. Okay. 
Gotta make sure I, I, you know, walk backwards there. It's just go. <laughs> Wait, does he really just say go? No, he's like, Scourge. Something like that. Okay. We're another substantial time save right now. And it looks like we're already late. I'm like ba barely hanging around right now. This PB. I am your potions teacher. Professor Snape. Today, you will learn how to mix a Wigan Weld healing potion. You're late for potions, Mr. Potter. Inexcusable, even for celebrities. Five points from Gryffindor. Potter, go to the dungeons and fetch the potion ingredients for the class. Bring back Wigan Tree Bark, Moly, Dittany, and Flubberworm Mucus. Be quick about it. Or I shall deduct house points from Gryffindor. Now be gone and don't come back without the ingredients. Hmm, that must be Disney. <laughs> because we talked to Snape, it's over. It's invalid. Nice jump. Where am I? I wonder if Snape tricked me. Dude, the fact that Snape removes points um, when you finish the level, like, was the cause of much debate in the 100% definition. Or, like, one of the issues. Yeah, seriously. They're like, what if we have a- what if we found a way to skip a Snape from moving house points? That would invalidate every run with X amount of house points. It's like, it's a cutscene. It's scripted. Yeah, there's there's no way to be on time. You're you're late every time. Yeah. I don't even think they programmed like any scenario where you're on time.
Yo, ghost. I'm doing fine. How about you, dude? Okay, finally. Okay, okay, fine. Lost a little time on the setup. But at least we got it. Phrased it weird. I forgot how he phrased it. Oh no, we okay. So the way we phrased it was do the things that give you the house points, but we didn't explicitly say you need to get those house points. You know what I mean? Late again, you lazy boy. A further three points from Gryffindor should teach you a lesson. I see you've collected a few challenge stars, but I'm afraid they have no value in my classroom. I've ended the lesson without you, Potter. The other students are off to the Halloween feast. Join them, if you must. I know, like in this version, it's three points. In the EU version, aka the Philosopher's Stone, you actually lose five points. I think. Or was it eight? I'm not sure. It's just some arbitrary number. It's just different between versions. I have no idea why. Welcome back, Campbell. Snape classroom or the potion skip? The ending cutscene of done of potions is like not even a minute, yeah, you're right. It's less than a minute. They took that camera angle straight from Crash, like, from the uh, chase cutscenes, or chase scenes, or chase levels, straight up took it.
Really? That's weird. Yeah, Crash 2 comes to mind when I think of those kind of camera angles. ...to the Gryffindor common room and discussed the strange goings on at Hogwarts. Harry suspected that someone... Guys, we're ahead of the PB! ...distract everyone so that they could get into the Forbidden Corridor. But there wasn't much time to think about who was behind this, especially since Harry was busy preparing for the second Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! It's Gryffindor versus Ravenclaw! Let's play Quidditch! Was that a snake? Roger! Here comes Potter! This is amazing! Stay on target. <laughs> yeah, it looks really awkward. match against Ravenclaw. Harry, Ron, and Hermione spent most of their free time in Hagrid's house. Okay, okay. That he couldn't keep Norbert, his beloved dragon. Eventually, after much coaxing, Hagrid agreed. Harry unwrapped the unexpected Christmas present. Something faded and silvery slid it out. It's an invisibility cloak, said Ron. They're very rare. There was a note with the cloak. Your father left this in my possession, Harry read. Use it well. A very Merry Christmas to you. Harry tried on the cloak, while Ron and Hermione helped to prepare for the climb up the tower. Be careful, Harry, said Hermione. You can't stay invisible while you cast spells. Filch might see you. With Norbert safely bundled up, Harry set off for the tallest tower. He hoped that the cloak would conceal him from Filch. Yo, one V. On F. Norris. Yeah, it was just low for that section, I think. Oh, nice, Katie. Okay, I can't mess around now. I'm actually on PvPs. Come on, cast. I'm like slowly aiming, creeping towards the symbol. Not time for foolery. Now, how can I get up there? What's going on? Who was that? Someone's got past me. Oh, nice, kid. Yeah, it's like not bad at all. 
Can you say class tomorrow is like three hours though? Oh, what's going on? Who was that? Someone's got past me. Hey Sizzle, thanks for the clock. Okay, fine. Please don't guard the doorway. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. It was okay. Ron's brother Charlie had arranged to collect the dragon from the tower and return him to Romania. I don't even know if walking backwards there saves time. Quick, you see Norris. You keep watch from above. I think so, because this camera moves fast. You'll not get past me now, you rotten little gutter snipes. What's going on? Who was that? Someone's got past me. Intruder! Intruder! In the forbidden corridor! No say book. Intruder! Where is he? Yes, it speeds up the camera in the cutscene, Milky. See, like, come up here, I'm gonna walk backwards, and then it's gonna go zoom zoom like that. I have no idea, Virus. <laughs> I am just as clueless as you. As though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them, he was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. 
The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what? thought Harry. Filthy whelps gave us the slip, Mrs. Norris. I've locked the only door out of here for the sake of me nerves. Stay here and watch the library for a bit, my dear. I think the next time I'll run HP4 Campbell is when I do my Octafecta, if I meet the sub goal for that. Are you serious, Varys? <laughs> you want to you want to go through that pain and suffering? Oh boy! Can you do HP for Hondo? Or did you just do any percent? Oh, you tried to. That's right. Thanks for the good luck, devil. How's it going? Mrs. Norris, move. Really, virus? Oh, God. It's Octo. OCTO. How's it going, Harvey? Thanks, dude. Juice the elixir of life, a potion that would make anyone immortal. No wonder someone's trying to get it. Anyone would want it, said Harry. Hermione suspected that the package Hagrid had taken from Gringotts contained the Sorcerer's Stone. It was the Sorcerer's Stone that was down the Forbidden Corridor, being guarded by whatever it was that had growled at them. Snape's been acting very suspicious lately. He may be planning to steal the Sorcerer's Stone. But there's no way Snape would try anything while Dumbledore's around. But Dumbledore left ten minutes ago for the Ministry of Magic in London. That must mean that tonight's the night. Let's go! I mean, yeah, I'm comparing it to PB. <laughs> so. What about Filch? He's always watching the Forbidden Corridor. We'll just have to take our chances then. <sighs> it 
looks like Filch is somewhere else tonight. Come on, let's go. This way, Harry. This is where the growling has been coming from. You hear that? I don't think we should go in there. But we've got to stop Snape. Go on, Harry. We're right behind you. Do be careful. Turn right to left. Out. Hermione? No, I don't. Right. See you in a minute. I hope. It's okay! It's a soft landing! You can jump! Come on, Harry. Next time, I'm going to pay more attention in herbology. Help! It's a devil's snare! Try not to get too close to those tentacles. Harry, Harry. Please cast this idea. Okay. That was okay. Okay, key. Well done, Harry. Let's see where this leads. Sorry to hear that, Twixel. Hope you feel better. Hope things turn around. Right. Yes. Okay, okay, okay.
I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. I suppose you were expecting someone else. Well, it's me, scared, stuttering Professor Quirrell. You're far too inquisitive to remain among the living. <laughs> no, that's a bad sign. Yes, 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 yes. Die, oh shit. No more stupid shit. You can't escape me. Maybe I can catch the so because of stone. No. Yes, yes, PB. I thought I was gonna die. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes. We did it. We did it, PB.